Molly, police said Connor Bentz knew the Oregon District well. In fact, he was here the night before the attack and in bars here minutes before. But the chief said it does not appear it was anything that happened, any conversations inside those bars that triggered the violence. This was a plan well before he got to the Oregon District. Chief Richard Beal says that's obvious after going through all sorts of security footage from the Oregon District that night, starting from the moment Connor Betts, his sister, and a friend pulled into the parking lot behind Tai 9. The three of them arrived in this parking lot at 11.04 p.m., and police know that because of a timestamp on a ticket from this machine. They then left the parking lot. This footage shows the three walking back behind some of the shops. They went to Blind Bob's. In this image, you can see Betts talking with someone and then walking out the door. At 12.13 a.m., Betts came out of Blind Bob's and went across 5th Street to Ned Pepper's. Here he is walking in, getting his ID checked by a bouncer who would eventually become a victim who did survive. Keep in mind, at this point, Betts has left his sister and the friend, but police say they were calling and texting. He did know where they were at. And then 29 minutes later, he came out of Ned Pepper's and actually walked right in front of a police officer as he headed to his car. In the shot of Betts leaving, you can read the back of his shirt, which says, Stupidly Brutal Death Grind. Here's a shot of him walking back to his car. Cameras then capture him back in this parking lot at his car again, going through the trunk, getting things out. He then leaves with a backpack and very different clothes and heads back towards the shops. You can see the backpack and heavier hoodie on him as he walks back. It's back here. Police say they have physical evidence. Bet spent eight minutes charging up his weapon. Then at 1.04 a.m., he headed down this alley and began shooting. That alley right next to the Blind Bob's patio. I heard a man's voice say, everybody get down. This woman we talked with Monday describes what this footage shows. Chaos as the crowd on the patio scatters. Realize that the bullets were flying over our heads. Three of the victims who died, including Betts' sister, were shot right in that area. Within seconds of the first shots, you can see officers rushing in to engage. Police Tuesday revealed the whole incident was over in exactly 32 seconds. Beale says this evidence shows police no one helped Betts that night, but his motivation for this specific attack? I think that's way, way, way downstream. And whether we ever have that is going to be, you know, a question. And another question that has been asked over and over again since this shooting, did Betts intend to kill his sister? The chief said that's something his officers continue to debate, and at this point they cannot reach a conclusion. Live in Dayton, Sean Cudahy, News Center 7.